guys another fun project today i am working on a christmas journal and i want to make a hidden paper clip but one that is multifunctional and larger than one that you would normally see so i've got some um, coffee dyed scraps here a piece of card you're not going to see this so it really doesn't matter if it's plain or decorated a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock and some tags and these are tags that um, I made in the last video that I did and I'll link that below all right so the first thing I want to do is cut a piece of cardstock that oh is I don't know uh, inch and a half now let's do let's go ahead and do two inches if I need to cut it down I can and we want it to be let's see we want it to be more than the length of our paper clip so let's say about right there And I do recommend using cardstock to, to hold the paper clip um, because it's just, it's sturdier. Uh, I've seen people use book page and I don't know how that actually survives. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this, put this on here. I'm gonna raise it up just a little bit. And we'll see why in just a minute. All right, so for the part that goes over my journal page, I'm going to cut this. This is a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Um, I'll we'll cut it at four inches. Set that aside. I'm going to fold this in half. And I'm gonna find the center of this. I'm just gonna make a little, little notch right in the center there for my paper clip to pop through. Okay, it's not quite big enough, but we will make it work. There we go. So that's just gonna be peeking out through there like that. All right, before I glue everything down now, I am going to round my corners. Now, this is one-sided paper, so you can decorate the inside. I think I'm just going to collage some book page on here. Use whatever you want. I just happen to have this sitting here, so that's what I'm going to use. just about fits. I'm going to cut just a tiny, tiny little bit off of this. And round those corners so that they will 
fit snugly. And that's perfect. And then we can just ink around the edges. So let's do one um, for this side. I'm just going to ink around these edges. And you're not really going to see this too much because it's really going to remain closed. But I just didn't want a whole lot of white stuff showing in there. I'm going to quickly ink around this. Okay. Like I said, this isn't gonna show, except for that little part right there. So let's go ahead and glue this down. All over. Make sure you get all over the paper clip. Scooch the top of that right into that hole and then give this a good press down. And then we're going to repeat the process with glue on this side. I am going to slip this in there so in case glue seepage happens, this is not going to stick together right in between those two folds. All right, press it down. Okay, so while that's drying, I'm going to put a pocket here on the front. And this is a piece of coffee dyed scrap paper. And I'm going to put a pocket here. Cut it about, about right there. Which is about two and a half inches. Excuse me for reaching. And let's go ahead trim this down to four inches so it's the same width there's our center oops let's make a little thumb notch Okay, and then we're going to round these corners. That other little bottle was completely stopped up, so we're just going to go with this one. So this is Art Glitter Glue, and I'm just going to glue right around the edges. And we are going to put this right on the front. Press that down. Turn it over. 
And on this side, I thought I would do a belly band, so I'm gonna cut that down to, let's see, two inches. That should work. Should be right around six inches. Yep. I think I'm going to trim just a smidge more. glue down. And just eyeball the center. Let's check on this. we do a little bit of a decoration on this and make it fancy let's see and I screwed that up but we can still make it work just tilt it a little bit. We'll put some fabric tack on the back of that. Right. So I have some Christmas cards, our Christmas decorated tags. Let's go ahead, put one of them in here. And then we can figure out what to put in here. These tags are too big. Um. I have these smaller tags, but they, I think they're too small. Yep, that will work. Let's go ahead and round the corners. This is like probably 65 pound cardstock. Not too terribly thick, but I don't want it to be too thick. Let's go ahead and ink around the edges. And we need something to go down the front here. That's very festive. I think I'm going to use that. Let's put some more fabric tack down. Put 
that back in the scrap bowl. So that side is done. Now let's put some toppers on these tags. All right. Move everything out of the way here. Okay, I have some sorry silk ribbon, some seam binding, and an eyelet. So let's go ahead and punch a hole in the top of our tag. Set the eyelet. going to attempt to get this through the top of the paper clip. Yay. And I hope I have enough here to tie into a bow. That's very cute. Except it's not tight enough. very cute. Let's cut this piece off a little bit. And then this slides down in here. And you have your red and green together. And then this will just slide. Let me see if I can find. say this was your journal page and this would just slide right over the top there you have a hidden paper clip doing double duty okay guys it can't get any easier than that um, and it makes such a great uh, add to your junk journal page. So I hope you will consider giving that a try. Super cool. Loving it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for spending your time with me again today. And I hope you have a very, very blessed day. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.